This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the director of Atco Mining, Mr. Neil McCallum. Neil, we just chatted a week ago. It's great to have you back on. How are you? Yeah, really good. Thanks. Thanks for having me back. Well, listen, the reason I have you back is you had some news here. And again, this space is relatively new to me, but it's a space that I'm really, really excited about the more I get to learn about it. The gravity survey that results that you just received preliminary data um, supports the presence of three large salt dome targets. And in the release, you mention that getting these three large high priority targets at this early stage was better than you could have hoped for. So let me start by asking you, what did you hope for? And then let's talk about what this means. Yeah, okay. So, you know, when we uh, were looking at the project area and, and thinking about the whole region and looking for land packages to acquire, um, you know, we had some inclination that there were salt dome targets based on work that dates back from, you know, the 50s, uh, 60s, 70s, uh, primarily when they were doing a little bit of, you know, uh, geological recon for not just for salt, but um, sometimes salt domes uh, occur next to oil and gas deposits. So, you know, there was some information that we had to go by, but it was a little bit dated. And what we're looking at now is just, you know, really modern technology in the way that they can uh, not only acquire the, the gravity data, but interpret it as well. Um, we can look and look at things in 3D. So, you know, we had some suggestions that there were gravity lows um, on the on the ground that we acquired, but this data really just confirms it, and we're able to do, you know, just a few steps more at looking at this in, in three dimensions as well with the software. You talk about the confirmation of your geological exploration model. What does this mean moving forward for some of the other? targets and projects that that you plan on exploring yeah i mean this will prioritize uh the areas to take to the next stage and, and give us a little bit of an indication on not only where to drill test but how deep it is as well um given the data that we have so yeah it's going to really just point us in the right direction for sure you said uh the phrase that i love hearing drill test when can people expect um, some follow-up details on that because I know everyone is excited to get to that aspect of it. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, you know, I think once we get the full data, we'll put the plan together and likely ex execute um, this summer if everything works out right. Well, it seems, again, it seems like a pretty simple story to me. I think we're going to get, you know, a, a, a yay or a nay on whether or not this part of the project's going to work relatively shortly, um, which again is exciting for me. I appreciate you taking the time today, Neil. Anything you want to add to that? I suspect that once you get the full, full data set, we'll be chatting again. Yeah, definitely. And we'll have uh, quite a bit more to say about it um, once we have the full data set and the interpretation and everything like that. So, yeah, it'll all be... Uh, compiled and synthesized in, a, in another news release. Fantastic. Neil, thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Of course. Yep. Take care. Cheers. Hey, everybody. Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.